Welcome to the video tutorial on using the Data Exporter tool in Profile ID. The Data Exporter is an advanced tool in Profile ID which allows you to access the large database of census information which sits behind the community profile. Looking at a regular page in Profile ID, for instance birthplace, you have a lot of information. You can see the number and percentage of a particular category for your selected area. In this case, country of birth and a comparison to the uh, percentage in the benchmark area, for instance in this case Blacktown City or Greater Sydney or New South Wales, and in comparison to an earlier year, 2006, 2001, or if you have the enumerated data set selected, 1996 and 1991. But just say you wanted to compare multiple suburbs at once rather than just one or compare change over two earlier census years, say 1996 to 2001, or perhaps access a birthplace, language or religion which is not on the list on the main site, or even see the actual number of people rather than the percentage in the benchmark area. All these can be done using the data exporter. So for this example we are looking at the city of Blacktown in New South Wales which has quite a large number of suburbs. So let's have a look at the distribution of one of the smaller, recently arrived birthplace groups in Blacktown, which is people from Burma. Looking at birthplace, you can see that there were 682 Burmese in Blacktown in 2011, which was an increase from 2006. But which suburb had the most? You could go through each suburb individually, but it's much easier to use the data exporter. If you're accessing this for the first time, you will be prompted to fill in some information about yourself. To create our own data export, we first need to select the data type. This is a person topic, so using the usual residence is fine and usually preferred. If you're looking at a dwelling or household topic, you will need to select enumerated. Let's select the last three census years, 2001, 6 and 11. And we go next and select our topic birthplace in here, not birthplace summary which will just give you a total for non-English speaking background. Scroll down the list until we find Burma or Myanmar. Use the arrow button to add this to the right hand pane. You can select multiple items from one classification but if you switch classifications you will have to start again. Next we select the geographic areas you can select one or multiple suburbs, overlay areas or benchmarks, but I'm going to select all of the geography available by using the double arrow, add all areas. If we go next, then the results load up in the preview pane, which can then be exported to Excel. Note that unlike the main topics of profile, you can see more than two census years at once. And you can also see the raw numbers for the benchmark areas. For instance, Greater Sydney here, you can see there were 4,605 people from Burma. So the 682 who live in Blacktown represent about 15% of the Greater Sydney total. Within Blacktown, the largest number is in Seven Hills with 114 people. <coughs> and this is more than doubled in 10 years but most of that was in the 2001 to 2006 period. So you can see when the changes occurred over a longer time period. Once you export and get the data into Excel, you can sort, edit and create charts in the usual way. To create another query, just hit the reset button. Remember that for birthplace, language and religion, many more categories are available than those shown in the main part of Profile ID. Data Exporter is great for comparing multiple suburbs and multiple years, but it can only access the data that sits in the standard Profile ID database. For cross-tabulations of one variable by another, you would need to access our Communities of Interest topics, but that's for another video.